75 laps. And as they come off turn number four, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Dixie Chopper Feel the Thunder. of lap number one. No surprise, James. R.T.J. out front. 19th win here last night. He is so far perfect, but Chad Simpson says it's the best car he has had here in quite some time. In second, the current Lucas Oil MLRA points leader. There's a side-by-side -side battle of the one, Mike Marler and Devin Moran. And then he was not here for two or three years, and he's on the bottom. Down the main straightaway, and Mike Marler has come to second after starting in fifth with five in the books, Dustin. Marler wasting no time trying to put that Ronnie Delk own 157 up into the top spot, but just as quickly as he moves into second, Chad Simpson tries to take it back away from him. Marler looked a little unsettled that time down in three and four. He'll get his feet back under him. Regroup and try to close ground on your race leader, Ricky Thornton Jr. RTJ out front by nine tenths of a second. And James, your race leader is now on the same straightaway as the back of the field. It is Ricky Thornton Jr. and Mike Marler, Chad Simpson, Devin Moran, Brandon Overton as they go into turn number three. Now Thornton has to go to the outside. Mikey glued down to the bottom, down the straightaway. Will we have a new leader, Dustin Jarrett? As they come across the scoring loop, we do not. Ricky Thornton Jr. out front by 26 one thousandths of a second. They stay side by side up front for the lead. Marler, though, with an advantage on the bottom. James, you've got a new leader at least in three and four. It's Mike Marler, but it's not official until they get to the strike. Down the main straightaway, it is official at the loop. Mike Marler on lap 11 has taken the lead after starting in fifth. In the 157, Ronnie Bell cut across Phil, Tennessee, the car owner. There's Thornton in second. Chad Simpson remains in third. And yeah, Ricky Thornton Jr. James has changed his line, and it may be to his advantage as he's going to try to roll by the outside of Mike Marler. James, 19 years in a row. Tradition continues. Nobody has led every single lap of this feature. Marler will be credited with leading laps 11 and 12. Back out front on lap 13, Ricky Thornton Jr. He'll slice through the middle between Boo Briggs and Tim Lance. There you see Marler will follow. Chad Simpson trying to catch him in the 25 car. Down the back straightaway, Devin Moran and then Brandon Overton. Caution free so far as we work lap 14 of 75, and it's Ricky Thornton Jr. out in front in Knoxville. Right. And Marler trying to retake the lead, Dustin, and down the back straight away he does on the 157. This, this is such a momentum racetrack, James. You know, you, 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 one driver told me yesterday that when you hit your marks right, uh, it can be really good, except for when the racetrack throws you for a loop. Marler back out front officially on lap number 18, your third lead change in the first 18 laps here at Knoxville. And I don't think it's the last one to you down no, the back straight away. So. As they go into three around Ross Robinson, Lucas Oil, regular throw to the outside. Mike Marler glued to that bottom. In the 157, down the main straightaway. Josh Davis, Jerry Sprouse, turning the wrenches on that car in turn number one. Chad Simpson is still third. Beck Hilsebeck doing a good job keeping himself on the lead lap. Coming around to complete lap 23. Marler's going to go high. Will that open up the door for Ricky Thornton Jr.? RT going to use the berm to his advantage. He'll reclaim the lead on lap 23, your fourth lead change of the race. Between these two drivers, Thornton and Marler. Now Mikey gets the run. That's where you get the momentum at it, just like you do at Eldora, as Thornton shuts the door going into turn three. Now Marler back to the bottom. He'll roll through the middle. Thornton still leads behind the O'Reilly other parts top rook in the series, Max Blair, who runs in 24th right now. How it goes, and Mike Marler's going to power to the outside, and Mike Marler goes back into second. Here comes Shirley and Moran now. Here comes Hudson O'Neill, the world 100 winner, but almost a straightaway lead behind Ricky Thornton Jr. to turn one, but Mike Marler might be the fastest car on the racetrack right now, other than Ricky Thornton Jr. And here comes Kyle Bronson. So as you'd mentioned, James Marler dropped back on that restart, kind of got stuck there on the high side, and they freight trained him down low. Once he got his feet under him, though, the 157 is looking good, trying to reel back in your race leader, Ricky Thornton Jr. And James, you just said it, Kyle Bronson has driven his way onto the Big River Seal podium, at least for the time being. Going to work his way around the 157 of Mike Marler. So move Kyle Bronson up to second spot from seventh, and he will now try to do something that 
Well, not a lot of guys been able to do this year. He's going to try to reel in Ricky Thornton Jr. 35 laps in the books. Yeah, the biggest one of KB 40's career was the 53,000 to win I-80 Silver Dollar Nationals a few years ago. And right now, he's got a good hot rod down the main straightaway. 36 complete. He is 3.3 seconds behind Ricky Thornton Jr. Right there, Thornton. He's closed down with about six car lengths behind him in a turn one. 40 in the books, 35 to go. It's down the nine tenths of a second. We got a car in the middle back straight away off the pace, and the Gorsuch Performance Solutions caution is out. Tough break. It's Dalton Wilson on the back straightaway that is slowing, and that will bring out the Gorsuch performance caution. Yeah, two seconds was the advantage the last time by for Ricky Thornton Jr. Kyle Bronson had been faster than RT for three consecutive laps. Oh, my goodness, big time trouble. Down in turns three and four, the red flag is out. Kyle Bronson hard in the wall. He goes up and over with 16 laps to go here at Knoxville. And you see Kyle Bronson walking away. Man, you give it all you got, and he was giving it all he's got. That's, we expect nothing less from that Brandon Florida driver. We've seen him for so long. $50,000 on the line, and Ricky Thornton Jr. fires in the Racing for Heroes restart zone. See how the tires, if they did seal up under caution, and the red flag, Marler slides up the track, O'Neill on the bottom. That momentum out of turn number two, Mike, he'll go to second. And here comes 49, Jonathan Davenport, the defending race winner now up to fifth. And it's Ricky Thornton Jr. with 15 laps to go out in front. Jonathan Davenport started 18th, James, and he's trying to work his way inside the top five, and he'll do so. He gets a great restart. J.D. may not be done yet as he momentarily slides up to third in front of Hudson O'Neill. Hud going to cross him back over down the back straightaway again. That's third fourth and now fifth on your screen with Hudson O'Neill, Jonathan Davenport and the four of Brandon Overton. They're trying to become the first driver in 13 years to sweep the weekend. Billy Moyer was the last and only driver to do it at 20 to 10, 2010, two laps to go. And no, one lap to go, my bad. The white flag is out, out in turn number two, Dustin Jarrett. Final time around for Ricky Thornton Jr. In 2010, Billy Moyer swept the Lucas Oil Knoxville Late Model Nationals. And in 2023, formerly out of Chandler, Arizona, then Adele, Iowa, Martinsville, Indiana's Ricky Thornton Jr. will do it again here in Knoxville. Mike Marler finishes second. Third will go to Hudson O'Neill.